One of the four hostages held at gunpoint is sharing his story about their 11 hour ordeal. Jeffrey Cohen is one of three people, including Rabbi Charlie Citron Walker, who escaped late Saturday night. Another person held at gunpoint was freed earlier in the day. Our Jack Fink spoke with Cohen today. He is live outside the synagogue. Jack, I mean, I can't even imagine what he must have gone through. Well, Brooke, Jeffrey Cohen says anti-Semitism played a role in why the hostage taker came here to their synagogue, and he credited the rabbi whose actions proved key. He said he was going to shoot each of us, put a bullet in each of us, and that was the first time that he said that. And then just a few moments later, he said, I'm going to make you get down on your knees, get down on your knees. At that point, I reached in my chair and I got up like this and I know I stared right at him and I may have shaken my head like this I don't recall but I know I mouthed no and just that that glare was the first time that we had showed any aggression toward him uh, we weren't subservient at that point he started backing away immediately and he went and sat down now I didn't see him put his gun down but I did see him go to pour some soda. And when he did that, Rabbi Charlie picked up the chair, threw it, yelled, run. I didn't see the chair go until as running. I tripped as I was going out. And we've got a hedgerow there. And I thought that I was going to go through the hedgerow. I started climbing under it. You fell to the ground and had to get up. And were you worried that he was going to catch you and, and kill you? I mean, yes, a little bit. But I was more concentrated on getting through that hedgerow. But yeah, he followed us out. Cohen says the law enforcement officers told him to run to the front of the synagogue. He says the hostage taker selected Congregation Beth Israel in Colleyville because he thought they could help gain the release of Afia Siddiqui, who's serving an 86-year prison sentence in Fort Worth for attempting to murder U.S. soldiers. He bought into the anti-Semitic tropes that Jews control the world, Jews control the media, Jews control the banks. And because he believed this, he genuinely thought that we could call up President Biden, that we could call up President Trump and have them release her because we're Jews and we have all this power. Did he ever go on a rant, an, a, a tirade of anti-Semitism? He did uh, anti-Semitism, anti-Zionism, anti-U.S., anti-Israel, anti-women, anti-gay, anti-blacks. Um, there was not one um, one group he didn't try to. Oh, anti-Muslim. Uh, he went after everybody. Cohen describes the moment he saw his family for the first time. When we reunited later at the Colleyville Elementary School, and this is after midnight, after we've been debriefed, you know, tears flow. Um, the bodies shake. Mm. Cohen told me early on that the hostage taker allowed them to call their families, and he said they all kept their composure. Cohen says he does plan on attending tonight's special service that the synagogue is holding at a local church. He says he would really like to come back into the synagogue for services here, but he's not sure exactly when he will feel comfortable to do so. Brooke? Yeah, so understandable. Jack, thank you so much for that. And you can watch Jeffrey Cohen's full interview on our website, cbsdfw.com.